everybody, welcome back. Today, we are going to play with some new makeup. I purchased two things from Shantakai, an eyeshadow palette and a lipstick. I also got two things from Chanel, a blush and a new range of their lipstick formula. I also received four new lip balms from House of Siach. So we are going to do a look with the eyeshadow and the blush and we're going to swatch all the lipsticks so that you can see how it looks like when it's worn. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, my name is Kat. I love to do everything to do with luxury, luxury handbag reviews to luxury skincare and makeup. So if you like that kind of video, I hope you subscribe. And for everyone else, let's get started. Starting off with Shantakai's eyeshadow palette. This is a limited edition eyeshadow uh, trio that's called Walk for Giant Safari Collection Eye Trio. And I saw this on Michelle Wong's and several luxury beauty YouTubers. It is so beautiful. They have this picture of a giant elephant here and they are in collaboration to give some back to the giants or elephants. This is such a beautiful black and white photo. It just captures the moment as the elephant is walking across the land. So stunning. So this eyeshadow, it also comes embossed with the uh, elephant. It is so cute. There was an overspray on top but I've already swatched it and that overspray, one swipe, it will go away. But these colors are absolutely stunning. You like eyeshadow palettes, but sometimes when there are too many eyeshadows, you get a little bit overwhelmed. This is a good one to start off with. It's just got three colors, very neutral. It has a bit of cool undertone, especially for the first brownie taupe color. This middle color, which is more of like a burnt brick color, it's not too bright. So it will land a little bit more soft on the eyes. And this final color on the right side, this color here it is this golden with a bit of, I feel like it's got a bit of peach, um, like an orange tinge to it. It's not like a bright yellow, but it's like an old gold color. It's super beautiful. So I'm going to take the last color on the right side and I'm going to sweep that all over my eyelid and just give myself a little bit like a yellowy orange base. I'm just using I'm just using the Sonia G Worker Pro brush and I'm just sweeping that all over my eyelid. Going in with the middle color, I'm going to just keep that on the outer side of the eye and sweeping it towards the middle but kind of like focusing it on the outer side and more of like a tapping uh, blending motion because I don't want too much of that red to uh, go over that yellow. Yeah, that's nice. I can actually stop here, put a little bit of eyeliner, but I'm going to go in with that taupe color as well and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner. So that's the eyeshadow look. I'm going to finish off with a bit of MAC. Teddy Eye Cold to line my eyes and I'm going to do my eyebrows and I will be right back. Moving on to the Chanel blush. This is the color 330 Rose Petalon. It is a beautiful rosy pink color. It has some bits of shimmer to it but what I noticed about Chanel blushes is once you put it on your cheeks, the shimmer doesn't, for most of the blushes, it's not too much. There is a little bit of shimmer so I don't think I'll be using any highlighter today but this blush, I thought would Put it together it might not really go with the eye look because this is quite a neutral like almost cool tone this is more warm but ne never mind let's just put it together on my skin tone it definitely pulls a little bit more pinkier i do see a bit of the peach coming through however because i am quite yellow in my skin tone would not necessarily want to pair this blush with this eyeshadow color because this is definitely more you know a uh, neutral warm with a bit more i uh, i think like more yellow whereas for this is more pinky but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll go. I don't know. Maybe just give it a while. We have six lip colors to swatch. So my lips are feeling a little dry. Let's start off with House of Siage's new lip balm. I have four colors right here. So let's start with this clear one. And I've already put it inside this gorgeous um, garden, Whispers by the Garden purple or lilac color, purple or lilac color case. This is such a beautiful lip case. House of Siage is a luxury beauty brand but they do focus as well in perfumes and their perfume containers are out of this world. It is so beautiful but recently they've started to do uh, makeup 
and they have these beautiful bow cases. This is their Whispers in the Garden uh, bow cases. I believe they have several colors and the one that I have is this stunning lilac color. So pretty and it's adorned with 300 over Swarovski crystals. So I've put in the clear one and it doesn't smell of anything. It smells a little bit like vanilla chocolate. So let's try it on the lips. Oh my gosh, that feels, that feels so amazing. It feels so hydrating. This is the B01 Diamond Balm. Mm. When I press my lips together, it doesn't feel too waxy. It feels like there is a, there is this like really, really hydrating coat on my lips. Oh, and if, oh my gosh, it looks like it's filling up my lines. All right. So that's definitely a winner because I am going to leave that in and I do love lip balms. The lipsticks are refillable so when you purchase the lipsticks, it will come in this like gold or I believe there's also a silver case and all you got to do is pop it out and then put it into one of those lip uh, bowl cases. They are so, so pretty. So the color that I'm going to try now is O2 Lucent Balm and this is more of like a um, peachy nude color. So let's try this. Wow, that feels really hydrating on the lips. There is a little bit of a color, like a tint of color. And this color, B02, is sort of like my lips, but better. This color is B02 Rose Balm. And this definitely has a more rosy, mauve tint to it. It's still really neutral. However, I think this is going to pull come like a little bit more pink. So let's try that. I can definitely see a hint of that rosy mauve color on my lips compared to B02. So if you like this kind of shade that gives more of a pinky mauve tone to it, then B03 would be your pick. Even after I've removed the lip balm from my lips, my lips still feel hydrated, which is a good thing because sometimes, you know, after you wipe off a lip balm and immediately your lips don't feel hydrated anymore. I don't get that with this. I feel like as if there is, ooh, my lips don't look so dry as compared to before I started to use the lip balms. All right, let's go on with the next color. This is B04 Royal Balm and this is the most like bright red color. Looks pretty intimidating because I'm not really a red lipstick wearer, but let's see the color. This is the kind of red that I will feel very comfortable in wearing because it gives me a hint of red. It looks like as if I've been, you know, maybe sucking on a lollipop or, you know, having like those popsicle red ice creams. It has a bit of red to it, but it's not so much in your face. And again, it feels really, really hydrated. Do It does remind me a little bit of the uh, Dior lip, glow, lip glows, especially the redder colors. It definitely gives me that kind of hint of color. So this is the B04 in Royal Balm. Moving on, let's try the Chanel Le Lacquer or Lac. This is the Ultra Wear Shine Liquid Lip Color and the color that I have is in 62 Still. This is like the most neutral color, almost like my lips but better. When I take it out, it has this doe foot applicator that's slightly slanted and I've tried this once already. It has a bit of this moussey texture but it's not like a liquid lipstick whereby it's too drying on the lips. So if you like a more, you know, not too glossy kind of gloss, but you don't like a liquid lipstick kind of feel as well. I think this is a good in-between. It goes on the lips super easily and it doesn't dry down entirely. When I press my lips together, I can still feel a bit of like this moussey texture. Over time, it will dry down, but I feel like it's not one of those liquid lipsticks that will dry down entirely and almost like suck the life out of your lips. It still feels 
fairly hydrating but not like a lip gloss so if you like this kind of you know almost matte but not too matte kind of look this formula from Chanel this Rouge Allure Lac is actually pretty good so I didn't know they had this launch and the final color that I'm really excited about is the one from Chantecaille from the same collection this is the Tamarind Lip Veil from the Walk for Giants collection this is such a stunning color this chocolatey brown lip almost like a lip gloss because it's not too thick but it gives a beautiful beautiful sheen on the lips let me try it on and i will tell you how stunning this color is this is the color tamarind it goes so well with this eyeshadow look and it feels absolutely hydrating on the lips when i press my lips together my lips really feel hydrated and this color is like your 90s look if you like this kind of chocolatey uh, brownie color almost grungy but yet not grungy because it's pretty sophisticated you would love this lip color this color Tamarind from Shantakai. So this is the finished look. I absolutely love everything that I've got. The Shantakai stuff never fails to impress me. Chanel's things, you know, Chanel, they always make really beautiful things. And House of Siage's range of lipsticks are just expanding. So if you're ever interested in any of these items, I will link all of them down below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Otherwise, everybody, please take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!